Hi, my name is Raylan. Hi, I'm Harvey. Hi, my name is Lehua. Hi, I'm Raphael, and this is our The Trio Waves 101 project. The purpose of us learning about waves is to understand a wide range of physical phenomena including light and the wave properties of matter. Longitudinal waves are waves where the rearrangement of particles are traveling at the same direction as the wave. When we applaud while singing a birthday song or on any other occasion, we compress and displace the air particles between our hands for a part of a second which produces the sound of a clap you are familiar with. When a speaker speaks some words in front of the microphone, the person hits the air thousands of times per second at different frequencies. The sound particles travel along with the air particles and enter the mic to produce sound. These examples represent longitudinal waves because particles of the medium through which the sound is transported vibrate parallel to the direction that the sound wave moves. Transverse waves are waves where the rearrangement of particles in the medium are traveling perpendicular to the direction of the wave. A rope demonstrates a transverse wave because the wave of a long rope travels from one end of the rope to the other. The rope does not move from left to right. Instead, it actually moves up and down. If two people were to hold each end of the rope and took turns swinging it up and down, we notice that the rope forms the shape of a wave and has crests and troughs as we keep doing this movement. Waves on the ukulele strings are transverse. As an ukulele string vibrates, it sets surrounding air molecules into vibrational motion. The frequency at which these air molecules vibrate is equal to the frequency of vibration of the ukulele string. Electromagnetic waves are escalating electric and magnetic fields. They include radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves and they all travel at the speed of light in a vacuum. When we microwave a cup of milk or leftovers from last night's dinner, the waves from the microwave are basically in between radio waves and infrared radiation. So when we put something in the microwave, the radiation heats our food, making it warm. In conclusion, waves are an extremely important part of physics and are happening around us on a daily basis. For the two examples of longitudinal waves, we all clapped our hands together and then we compressed the air particles that were between our hands. We also show Lehua talking on a microphone and it creates sound waves and the sound particles travel along with the air particles through the mic to produce the sound. For the two examples of transverse waves, Lehua strums her ukulele. You can see that the strings are moving because it has just been strummed. Strumming the string gives it energy which is moving through the string in a mechanical wave, which is a wave that travels through matter. The matter a mechanical wave travels through is called the medium. This type of mechanical wave passing through the vibrating ukulele string is a transverse wave. Another example that demonstrates transverse waves is a rope. In this case, the medium will be the rope. It creates motion in the particles that make up that rope. Lastly, for electromagnetic waves, we microwaved a plate of pizza rolls. As you can see, the interaction of these molecules undergoing force rotation creates heat, and our pizza rolls are cooked. And this concludes our project. For electromagnetic... <laughs> Yeah.